As humans, we ingest a huge amount of toxins on a daily basis. But our amazing bodies are always there for us, as they are equipped with the most brilliant ways to dispose of these toxins. However, sometimes even our well-equipped toxins finding machines cannot overcome the toxicity of some medications. And that's the subject we're gonna tackle today. Antidotes are some of the most important topics in the medical field. As a pharmacist myself, I have to understand the value of the antidote in saving people's lives. So without further ado, here are five of the most commonly used antidotes and their mechanisms of action. Number one, acetylcysteine. Acetylcysteine is the drug of choice in the treatment of paracetamol toxicity. When a patient is overdosing on paracetamol, a minor metabolite is formed. This metabolite is called n acetyl p benzoquinone amine. In normal doses, this metabolite would be conjugated to glutathione, which is an antioxidant in our body. However, glutathione is available in limited quantity. So in the case of an overdose, glutathione reserves in the body will not be sufficient to inactivate the toxin in acetyl p benzoquinone amine. In the treatment of paracetamol toxicity, acetylcysteine maintains and replenishes depleted glutathione reserves, which helps restoring the normal non-toxic metabolism of paracetamol. Number 2. Penicillamine Penicillamine is a chelating agent used in heavy metal toxicity, especially copper toxicity in Wilson's disease, which is a disease that prevents copper metabolism. Two penicillamine atoms bind with every copper atom, forming a very hydrophilic compound which is readily excreted in the urine. Number 3. Vitamin K One of the most common drug toxicities are caused by warfarin. Luckily, vitamin K is a very effective treatment of warfarin overdose. And it does that by activating many coagulating factors like 2, 7, 9, and 10, which are usually antagonized in patients on warfarin. Reactivating these clotting factors results in the restoration in the blood ability to clot. Number 4. Naloxone Naloxone is the antidote of morphine or any narcotics in general. While the mechanism of action of naloxone is not fully understood, it is thought that naloxone antagonizes the effect of opioids by competing for the same receptors, especially the opioid receptor mu. Number five, sodium nitrate. Cyanide is known to be one of the most dangerous poisons of all time due to its ability to kill very rapidly. Sodium nitrate is the drug of choice in the case of cyanide toxicity. Cyanide binds and inhibits cytochrome A3, preventing oxidative phosphorylation from occurring leading to a lack of ATP. As a compensatory mechanism, the cell resorts to anaerobic respiration, leading to an increase in lactic acid and subsequent acidosis. When sodium nitrate is administered, it acts by oxidizing hemoglobin to methemoglobin, which also has an affinity to cyanide. So cyanide will move from cytochrome A3 to methemoglobin, leaving cytochrome A3 free to resume normal cell functions. The reduction of nitrate by hemoglobin results in the formation of nitric oxide, which is a very powerful vasodilator. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. 
If you like the video, make sure to like it, subscribe, and tell me your suggestions for any future videos. And see you next time.